welcome back to our channel, We're the Couch Potatoes. We are currently viewing Violet Evergarden, Season 1, Episode 9. It's getting good. It is getting good. We oh, are, boy. We are starting to enjoy this, yeah. so... Are we ready to get started? Yes, ready. let's do it. Alrighty, talk to you after the episode. Hey, D. Okay, so... <laughs> this is Episode 9. Yes. Review. Nine of twelve. Oof. Where do you, <laughs> where do I begin? Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. Um, this was once again touching, touching one just right out the gate. Oh, oh yeah. man, right, right out the gate. Uh, it was nice to see. First, let me start off with. It was nice to see you though, because with that violence mm -hmm. actually. Wrote letters for mm -hmm. um, how that came around full circle. Talked about coming around full circle last episode. Yeah, everything came to a head. Um, almost everything. I still wonder what happened with the brother. Mm -hmm. I wonder what happened there and why he still holds grudge. Mm -hmm. I have a, I have a reason why, but <laughs> yeah. All right, let's get to get why. Anyway, that being said, um, it was nice seeing how she was reacting to finding out. Her major was dead. It was nice seeing how others were playing off of that. It was nice seeing how I was actually nice seeing her get a letter for once. Like mm -hmm. She's yeah. always delivering, mm -hmm. but when she finally seen the letter, that was actually nice. That was heartwarming. Nice. Um, it wasn't also for being a touching episode, and once again, depressing. <laughs> uh -huh. It wasn't slow for once while yeah. carrying yeah. The, the things that it did. Mm -hmm. Um. I got no real other words than that. I agree. I I think I think the reason it wasn't slow was because I remember it in episode one I said that you didn't buy into it. Mm -hmm. I, or for me I hadn't bought into it. I didn't have anything to look forward to, so it didn't really pique my interest. Mm -hmm. I think that's why even though the tempo was still the same, um I think it has now piqued our interest. Like, yes. we're anxious to see where this ends up, where it goes. So, I, to me, I think that's why it no longer feels like it's dragging <laughs> on. Is because now we're all like, oh my gosh, what's going to happen next kind of thing. So, I think that's what it is. I echo everything you said. Uh, the story is progressing greatly. And I kind of wrapped up in a little bow at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> That's so, the other thing. Well, like, well, I, mean, well, I think it's because of the fact that um, at this point, Violet's emotional development, I think, has come, come to fruition. fruition. Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. But yeah, it did. It felt like that felt like so, the season <laughs> ended right yeah. there. So it'll be interesting to see what happens with these next two episodes, three, three episodes that are coming. So, oh, yeah, it'll, it'll be interesting to see what happens because that oh, yeah. that yes. did feel like they had tied everything up. Yeah. And I agree with Dee. It was great to see characters come back. The letter she wrote for Kuyo's yeah. brother, yeah. I thought, you know, as soon as I saw him, I was like, I know that character <laughs> kind of thing. Yeah. So it was nice to see him come back and to see that come to, to fruition. <laughs> It was good to see like little touches mm -hmm. of all the other letters that she had done, yeah. you know. So all of that was great. The fact that she's now thinking about being worthy of her name. Yes. And I think maybe that's where this next few is headed. But yeah, I, I think all of that. And, and we're finally getting to see and understand her relationship with the major. Yes. Which is great. And I think she's finally starting to accept the fact that he is gone. Mm -hmm. You know, because I don't think in the last two episodes she really, even though she found out he was gone, it was she was more yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We're that first the into it going agree. through, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. like we saw um, very heavy denial. I don't think bargaining really was a factor. We saw yeah. anger, right? Uh, yeah. Grief, mm -hmm. and now acceptance. We are now officially in acceptance. So yeah, that may be what she's doing in some stages of grief. Anyway, so how would you? Oh, Johnny. Hmm. What are your thoughts? Okay. Yes, what are your thoughts? Like I said, I thought they wrapped it up. <laughs> we got three more episodes to go. So <laughs> yeah. That, okay. that, that does bring up a good question. Like, where can they go from here? If they cut off at nine episodes, 
It'd be perfect. Mm, yeah, it would have been perfect just mm. to cut it off here. That would have been mm. fine. But apparently we've got more to see and yeah. more to learn. And, yeah. You know, yeah. so we're going to keep going. Anywho, D, what do you rate this? 9 out of 10. Um, once again, with everything that I've covered, how touching it was, how everything probably came around full circle so far, um, the storytelling, the visuals, and despite everything, it wasn't slow mm -hmm. for once. True. For yeah. being heartwarming and depressing. <laughs> I'm sorry, I cannot let that go. It's still a depressing series. You gotta series. let it go. It is a depressing series, but I think they know that by now. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. I, I agree with the nine though. Mm -hmm. I think I will give this episode a nine as yeah. well. John. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'd say this is a nine. You say nine too? Yeah. Yeah. So that's what yeah, it, especially for just like that ending sequence too. Yeah. That was yeah. Cool. yeah, it was wonderful. It was definitely it was well while D is saying it's depressing, mm -hmm. I feel like this was a feel good episode. Mm -hmm. I mean, in the end, you know, you're like, oh, yeah. kind of thing. It does put you through the emotional ringer. Yeah. yeah. It does. Yeah. Yeah. I thought it was a feel good episode. Anyway, tell us what you think. Comment down below. Help us with the algorithm. And don't forget to subscribe. Till next time. Bye. Bye.